Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of My Road to Glory. This is the 18th installment of this series. I'm Oliver by the way and uh, today we have another set of matches for you. Beginning with the Bronze Challenge Final. Now this is the first Bronze Challenge Final of Stage 2. We need to win Bronze Challenges, two of them and uh, one Silver Challenge in order to unlock Division 4. Now, in the final, we come up against a full English team with one inform, and they're all boosted, as you can see. The Pacey team, he's got Weston, and then Grappen up front. I get the first chance from a corner, and then the second chance, Chambers puts it to Spicer, does a little move, and puts it into the corner for the 1-0 goal. Always good to have an early lead in the final. But Weston gets the ball and takes that lead away from us by equalizing in the 11th minute. Here Maiello with the ball. Spicer. McLashen with a dummy. Gets by the defender. And a near post OP goal for the 2-1. Here Weston breaks through. I thought that was going to be a goal. And he shoots, and that should have been a goal, but referee sees something, and I get the free kick. I don't know why, but I took it. Here McClashen breaks through and scores his second of the game, and we're up 3-1 in the final. A good save from my keeper there. And look at this from the corner. I, why is that a free kick? I don't know. He was really unlucky in this game, this guy. He, a very good play from my players. And the 28 pace, Howard breaks through and scores 4-1. And at that point, there was no question who was winning this game. Here my Italian sentiment, Maiello, with a great left footed shot outside of the box. His second left footed shot outside of the box in very few matches. Where in which he scores. Very good goal indeed. Here a great save from a keeper. And Demon makes a big mistake. And concedes the penalty. Grab and steps up. And tries to chip it down the middle. But Kearns gets his second penalty save of his career. Here one of the last chances of the game. Look at this, McClashen trying for the hat-trick, but a great save from the keeper, and that was that. We won the bronze challenge. Very happy about that. We are on a 12-game win streak, by the way. So, everything's going great. Now, we went ahead and uh, bought some packs after this. I think we have bought like four or five packs, two silver packs and around three bronze packs and uh, get a um, pacey senior attack mid from Poland with four star skills so you never know if I'll use him ever, I, I'm not sure, probably unlikely but you never know. I'll maybe use this sentiment filler there from Germany. He should link up well with my other center attacking mid from Germany I have in silver. I think he's from the same team as well. He's played for me a few matches in Division 5. I don't think I got any one special from these bronze packs. Certainly no one that is going to make the team on a regular basis. Now, for the next match, I put together a whole new team. I pretty much uh, influenced from the South Korean League, the K League, and this player right back with 93 pace. I want to try him out. We got Paul up front. He's from the K League. He's got 16 goals in 14 matches. And we also have this guy. This guy scored the first goal ever for the club. We come up against this team. 
a full English squad with that Bermudan striker up front who's got the pace on him we get the first chance that Korean centre midfielder should have done better there and here a good save from my American keeper but Weston gets the ball puts it back in and Wells scores first goal of the game I didn't feel very comfortable with this team at all just hated playing with it and it did, certainly didn't help that I didn't take my chances very well in this game here he sweats it for the 2-0 goal in the 75th minute so I knew there was really no coming back but Paulo gets one back though and that was as far as I got so, our first loss in, what, 13 matches. We had a 12-game win streak and then lost this one. So, I went with my regular English team with Howard and McLaughlin as the the main guys. I'm going to come up against this German side. And he scores the first goal. A rebound goal. But Howard is a great player. He always he's always there to get the ball. And he can make passes, although he hasn't got many assists for me yet. He made that pass for McLaughlin, who does well to finish that. Here I put it wide, but from the goal kick, he makes the mistake with the keeper and McLaughlin scores his second of the game. McLaughlin has been scoring a lot of late and that's a really good thing. Here Morris, the left winger who is not good enough for this squad, puts it wide. Look at this pass from Howard. There's a great pass there and McLaughlin scores his hat-trick. And that was that. McLaughlin with his first hat trick of his career. Gets the man of the match. His second. He's got he's got his first man of the match earlier in the episode. And a dessert win for me. Now on to the corner of stats, everybody. Here you can see some team stats and some player stats I put together. Uh, I love stats, so I try to do this after every single episode, but that's not always the case. Now we played 43 matches and scored 125 goals, and uh, we got, you can see the stage 2 progress there in the bottom of the left corner, where we have got now one bronze challenge win, and we need another one along with a silver chance to unlock Division 4 and therefore a while when completing Division 4 will complete Stage 2 so plenty to do and we'll see how far we can go before FIFA 14 you never know how far we can go now I'm going to have some goal scoring stats for, for you today from some players we begin to take a look at the top scorers of stage 1 and stage 2 as of now stage 1 is over and Steve Howard was the top scorer with 14 goals in 7 games just beating out Amar Bilal who's also got 14 goals but in more games in stage 2 McLaughlin and Paulo have both got 5 goals in 3 matches but McLaughlin has more assists I think probably by one or two and then we move on to the bottom half of this which is I put cup final goals and overall goals Steve Howard has got the most cup final goals he's got a hat trick in one of the cup finals and yeah and overall Paulo is the top scorer with 17 goals in 15 matches. Now, my featured player for this episode, he scored 
five goals in this episode is Jermaine McClashen. He played for uh, Cheltenham Town in the N Power League 2. He is from England. This player is... Uh, he's really good to have on the wing. Um, I don't know, just his skills, this ball control is just amazing. It's always exciting to have him on the ball. He can do some wonderful things with him with his four-star skills. And he can make some fantastic plays. And always makes the right runs, really. So there's something about him. He's got eight goals in nine matches. And four assists. And he's also the player who has been fouled the most inside the box. So he's got three penalty assists. Well, I've been Oliver. Take care, everybody.